Nerf and Airsoft here. I'm Corin, that's my real name. And today is not going to really be a Nerf or Airsoft review. And I haven't done an Airsoft review on Nerf and Airsoft Dude, the channel. But I will someday. And I'll, I'll get to it. But anyways, I'm going to show you around. This is my room. I have a layout there, a train layout. It's very messy at the moment, and I got a haircut, but it's very messy, and so is down there, some Nerf guns, and this is going to be unedited, so if I mess up, I don't really care, oops, that light doesn't work, let's see here, okay, okay, so back here is where I keep all my Nerf guns, you can see everything here. Nice big collection. There's my Titan that's outside. It's dark out. It's about like nine or something, nine thirty. Here's a box where, where I go whenever I go to the Nerf my Nerf club where we do battles with all my friends. I bring all my accessories and small weapons and magazines and darts, all that good stuff in that box. And that's my cat. I, that is actually one out of five cats. His name is Patch. Yes, Patch. And Patch here on YouTube. I hope he's happy about that. This is new, actually. You haven't seen this yet. At least nobody viewing has seen this yet. This is the Fire Strike, and I have not done a review on it yet. I will, maybe, sometime. Now, it is back in school, so I am a little busy. I can't do as many reviews as I can. Definitely not every single week. I'll try. I mean, if I can, if I have something to review, which I have a bunch of things. I actually have the long strike to review, which is here. I got it a while back, and I'm going to mod it. But also, it's a... Also, lots of thanks to people who watch my videos and actually use my videos as help, which I do know one person does use my video use my videos for help. Like I forget his name, but shout out to him. Thanks a lot for watching my videos and actually using what they're supposed to use for, which is reviewing and seeing how how nerf which different nerf guns in airsoft is used now i'm going to show you my well that was kind of confusing but i'm going to show you my airsoft arsenal arsenal there's someone's downstairs but all my airsoft guns AK, grenade launcher, everything, condor vest. I'll show you this. This is for airsoft. I shall do a review on it. It's actually not for airsoft. It's. Close that door. It's actually for real life use. I, I believe this is what the US uses currently. I'm not sure. It's called a plate carrier. That's. The correct term, let's see here if I can put the camera here. Whoa, okay. Or iPad actually. There you go. And so inside there you can put bulletproof armor. And that's cool. But, anyways, that's about it. Oh, and this is another airsoft thing. This is my. 1911. I have one magazine for it. I don't go airsofting that much, but when I do, I'll try and get some gameplay of me playing. I do enjoy a lot of games like first person shooters and such as Battlefield 3, Call of Duty, a little bit, and Battlefield 4, which is coming out soon, but. I do like Nerf a lot. Oh, and then this is my shield. This is a Nerf shield, homemade. 
Of course, you don't. They don't sell this. It's really easy to make. Sorry, those are my certificates for a certain game, either designing games or something. This is a shield. It's can really it does work. It as you can see, it's kind of battle worn, so I'll have to fix it up a bit for it to work again. I don't know. Don't remember, but this is a window, just plastic wrap. It'll it'll be bulletproof to airsoft. I mean Nerf. Sorry. I do love both. I do love Nerf and love airsoft, and that's my Apache RC helicopter. Maybe I'll have another channel that reviews RC stuff. But though I do not know much about RC, even though I do like it, but. I don't know much about it, so I don't think I'd be a good reviewer of that. Here's my Mega. I've been back here before, but you know, I'll show you all the stuff here again. Overview. There's my big bad boy. I have not done a review on that yet. Here's my Rapid Strike. This is my probably the loadout that I prefer. Not this mag. Usually I use like a 25 round. I prefer that, but nice big drum magazine, foregrip. Um, oh, and then this Spectre suppressor barrel extension piece. Very good for accuracy because it doesn't decrease the range that much, which the Rapid Strike does not have great range. Let me get over here in better light. It does not have great range nor great accuracy, but it is great for, you know, general purpose. Fully automatic. But I, if you put the retaliator barrel on, it makes it a lot more accurate but less range. But this is a perfect balance. This is right amount of accuracy. Sorry, right amount of accuracy and just the right amount of range. So I re definitely recommend this piece if you have the Spectre. <laughs> and this drum mag is nice as well, 35 rounds. It's kind of bulky, so you can't really put it anywhere after you're done. Bas basically, sorry, basically you just put it on the ground. But anyways, that's been my video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next review.